All right, so I came across this little miniature steam engine with just one little mini cylinder that runs it. So I was just trying to find a fast, crude way to make some steam. So that's all you're going to see at the beginning is me with the torch and some copper. And every time I tried it, I was able to make steam within 10 seconds. It's funny, though, a camera, when you're putting it on the jet stream, doesn't pick up the steam that you see actually with your eyes. So it looks kind of weak, but I, I promise you it was at least double the amount of steam as what you see on camera. All right, here's the setup. Copper that reduces in diameter, and at the bottom, two one sixteenth holes drilled to allow water to come in. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what this does. So what's happening is just at the bottom. I don't think this is going to work, but I crimped the top, so there's just a small hole here. Oh, looks pretty cool so far. Alright, turn the contraption upside down, see if these two little holes will spray anything out. We looked at just a slightly bit up. Alright, so like I said, that was pretty boring, but there'll be some cool th uh, videos in the future trying to make steam because we want to use the steam to go into a turbine eventually too. This next thing I want to show you is something that I uh, came across on YouTube. A gentleman said that he took hydroxy gas, put a burn mark on the metal, and then further down uh, with his acetylene torch, just put another burn mark across on the metal there. And then he left the piece of metal outside for a month and when he looked at it after a month where the uh, hydroxy gas burn mark was there was no rust and where the acetylene was it was completely rusted so I wanted to test that I doubt that's true but we'll see so that's all you're gonna see is I just got a regular bare piece of metal we're gonna apply the torches okay so let's try the hydroxy torch see if I can hold this camera and do it all at the same time I doubt it. Okay, so now we're going to use the acetylene torch. I got a turbo tip on this, which means that it runs at very high uh, flow rate, and this tip recirculates the gas and makes it way, way, way hotter than what a normal acetylene tip would do. So we'll try this a little further down. I got to put the camera down to light this in the stick in here, and this actually throws out way more gas than the hydroxy torch. Okay, so I just cut the volume off on that because that's just an annoying sound for nothing. The torch is very, very, very loud because of the fast flow rate of the gas going through it. Alright, even though it's pretty obvious what's what, I'm just going to mark these off. H and A. So we'll put that aside and we'll check that every couple of weeks and see if what this guy says is true. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. This is a fridge that's completely stripped apart. I was taking all the parts off it. But, here's what a normal fridge looks like, right? In your freezer section, when you open the freezer door, there's a panel in the back with a fan right here. Remove that panel and you got your evaporator. This is an aluminum evaporator and the reason I'm showing you this is because when you cut here, and cut there. There's two pipes, one's an in, one's an out, and you got a perfect radiator for putting hot water through or oil or whatever. It's a perfect little heater. Just throw a little fan behind it and you got a radiator. And if you want to save some money, there's always fridges being junked. 90% of the fridges uh, have the new refrigerant 134, so you don't have to worry about hurting the ozone layer with that. So uh, if 
you guys ever need a radiator, just find an old fridge, cut it out. It works perfectly. I've already used lots of them. I don't know how well this is going to come out because I'm way in the back here where it's dark. But this is a commercial air conditioner that sits outside of a building. And the condenser on this is copper all the way through. And you can see the fins are very close together on that. There's another perfect example of a way you can get a radiator where somebody would just be tossing it out.